Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at finding the answer to question 1a part 4. So, what we're told is that under the normal distribution, the one that we've been using till now, that the temperature, the chance of the temperature being lower than 9 degrees is 29.4%. So we're talking about now changing these temperatures due to climate change. So we're told that the standard deviation is going to stay the same. So that means that our standard deviation is going to remain at 4.8. However, the mean that we had the mean, so this one up here had a mean of 11.6, but that mean is now going to change to something else. And it's saying, what would that new mean be in order for the probability to fall to 20%? So we've got our distribution. I don't know what the mean's going to be. I just know that the standard deviation is 4.8. And it's talking about the chance that the temperature is lower than 9 degrees. That probability there, we want that to fall to 20%. So 20% as a decimal will be 0.2. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to think how am I going to work out my distribution, this mean. And this is where I need to remind myself about my Z distribution. So the reason I want to talk about my Z distribution is with a Z distribution, I know that that has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So that means I can use my either NCD or inverse normal mode to find things because I know both the mean and standard deviation, where I don't know the mean for my X distribution. So I need to find some Z value here, which is equivalent to my X value of 9. And the area below Z is going to be exactly the same 20% as we have for our X distribution. So that's what I'm trying to do, is I am trying to find the point Z that is equivalent to that x value of 9. But I'm doing it using a distribution I know the mean and standard deviation for. So we are going to go to our calculator and I'm going to go into my inverse normal mode. And what I need to do now is the tail that I've got there is on the left hand side. So I'm going to do F1 to do a left tail the area on the left is 0.2 or 20% and I'm going to put in a, me a standard deviation of 1 with a mean of 0. So I'm putting in my Z distribution. And that gives me a Z value of negative 0.84. Um, let's do three decimal places, so 0.842. And it's a negative, don't forget that negative sign there. So that... I'm going to just write that down, oh, oh wrong button, um, so that's going to give me z equals, oh, pen, z equals negative 0.842. So I've found that z value that's equivalent to the x value. And now what I need to do is I'm going to use my equation z equals x minus the mean over the standard deviation and I'm going to use that and rearrange that. So I can substitute in my value of z that I just found, negative 0.842. I can put in the x value that it's equivalent to, which is x of 9. I don't know the mean, but I do know my standard deviation of 4.8. So that's what I want to do now, is substitute in and rearrange that equation. So let me just jump to a fresh slide. And so we've got z equals x minus the mean over that. And our z value was negative 0.842. Our x value is 9. And our standard deviation is 4.8. 
So what I need to do now is I want to move the fraction. So this divided by 4.8, the opposite of dividing is to multiply. So I'm going to do negative 0.842 times 4.8 is equal to 9 minus the mean. So I've just moved that whole divided by 4.8 across to the other side of the equal sign. Now I'm going to simplify that. So I'm just going to grab my calculator and say negative 0.842 times 4.8 gives me negative 4.0416. Oh, come back. Negative 4.0416 equals 9 minus the mean. So all I did was just tidy up that left hand side. Now what I want to do is I want to move and make my mean. The moment the mean is negative, so I want to make that into a positive. So I'm going to move that to the other side of the equation. And so that's going to become positive when I move it across. Minus 4.0416 equals 9. And now what I need to do is I want to move this negative 4. And I want to move that to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to get mean equals 9 plus 4.0416. And that will give me a mean of 13.0416. So that is our new um, mean for this distribution. So I'm going to round that um, because it's a temperature. So 13.0 degrees Celsius. So getting to that stage there gets us through to an excellence. If we were able to get to the um, Z value, so if I go back here and I was able to find this Z value doing the inverse, then that would get you a merit. But remember, you must have your working. If you just give me the correct answer, that won't that'll only give you an achieved. So I need to see all of this working, um, well, most of this working, in order to be able to give the excellence. Thanks very much for watching.